Now over to Shamna sir. Hello friends. <coughs> Welcome to this validatory session of this six week long program concerning an ensemble of evidence belief function with frequency ratio for GIS based landslide prediction in ArcGIS. Hope this program help you a lot in your future journey. Next, I, I wish to congratulate each of the successful participants who learned a lot from this six week long program. And uh, I also congratulate Dr. Joyanto Dash, the instructor of this six week long online program. And uh, you know, academician, we all concerned about the cutting edge technology and advancement of science and the necessity of geospatial technology in various multidisciplinary background and the application of these cutting edge technology of the future upcoming days is must be giving more emphasis as a scientist, research scholar or academicians who already uh, end up pursued their work uh, under various multidisciplinary milieu. So I think this one is a uh, the first or second step in your academic career, which will help to solve various critical problems in GI science, map making, and data representation, especially. At the end, I don't uh, wish to make a long lecture on this very session. Now I invite all the presented successful participants if you want to give your feedback about this six week long program, please give the feedback over to the participant. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Sir, uh, I would like to say that uh, the course was very excellent, sir. This is my second course. Sir. I, am, I have not missed even a single class, sir. I am having sarnos. I am having twin boys of eight years old. <laughs> they are also attending. They are also watching SARS uh, that, uh, things, sir. I am very much impressed with the course content, uh, the ways are explained. Uh, to be frank, uh, uh, last year, July, uh, I have not at all opened RGS. I have not known the ABCD of these things. Uh, even just October only by SARS YouTube only, I started preparing soil fertility map as I am an agriculture scientist. Uh, then uh, uh, SARS that time advertised that uh, one webinar is going to be held in uh, flood hazard something. So then I waited. I thought that it is free, something like that. Then I came to know that validity sessions are uploaded. After seeing that session, uh, we are also uh, interested to publish international journals, high impacted and ask rating. So many factors are there. I am not aware of uh, it. I mean, I don't have much time or so many due to so many problems. Uh, totally, I was blank that which field I will select. But now I have a uh, confidence that I will succeed in this field. Um, I am very much happy with the contents uh, SARS classes. Now I'm totally focusing uh, my field totally. I mean, so I am also working in natural resource management management is highly related to landslide and flood hazard and drought even um, modeling and all i uh, totally i followed sar steps and all i got up to last till I also sar cleared my doubts uh, uh, i am following sir i am very much thankful to not only jainda das sir and the entire agr team sir thank you so much for your uh, service to the community sir thank you thank you very much hello sir can you hear me yeah yeah you are audible um, please Please carry on. My name is P.C. Lorindika, and I'm also from Mizoram University. Yeah. And <clears throat> I find this uh, platform really fulfilling our expectation. And each and every workshop uh, does not only provide knowledge for a particular topic that we are dealing, but uh, I think it is really enough for preparing a good article for reputed journals as well. So, and another great thing about the course under uh, uh, advanced in geographical research is that uh, the availability of the study materials like recorded videos, uh, uploaded articles, etc., for a lifetime. So I hope and uh, request the team to continue uh, conducting such a 
wonderful and resourceful workshop. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Shamna sir, for your valuable time. I'll show what I have prepared during this six week. So I just prepared one paper and I hope I can publish it in a very good journal. Okay. So here I have prepared table. Firstly, we need one manuscript, one table. So here this table describe about the data sources. Okay, about raster and vector data I have used during workshop. And I have prepared this table for mass function. That's an ABF calculation and FR calculation. Okay. So then I have prepared another table for mass function and FR model for hydrological parameters. Then this one for mass function for geological factor. And I have prepared again mass function for geologic factor. This is not geologic, this is a, okay, I'll change this name. No issue, then a prediction rate of EBF and FR. Then a prediction performance of model in various sensible scenario. I have selected this eight scenario. And already I have told, first time I have used these types of ensemble, like EBF multiplied FR by two, it's very common, but this types of ensemble is not common. So then percentage of area of various ensemble scenario for landslide prediction. Then another we need figure. So I have prepared in life a location map of this study area. I have selected initially one basin, longit basin. Here yeah, this one longit basin. And I have prepared all the map in 3D view. So this is these are the conditioning factor for landslide. Elevation slope, aspect, curvature, RTLS, TRI, roughness, then TWI, SPI. I have also prepared STI, TPI, slope classes, distance to drainage, distance to lineament, distance rainfall, then lithology, geomorphology, LOLC, NDVI, and distance to road for landslide prediction mapping. These are, these are the conditioning factor. Then I have prepared this map that's been believed, disbelieved uncertainty and plausibility for EBF model. It's the integrated evidence value function result. So next, here the eight landslide prediction map, eight scenario. And then I have prepared this graph today. I have prepared it. And here the result. See, uh, I got excellent result. This is a success rating for first one scenario 1.997, then scenario 2.998, then next one 0 0.998, 998, 997. So it's a, I got excellent result, more than nine mean excellent result. So here uh, near about 100%. But for, for predictive rating, I have considered 30% uh, for validating purpose. Here also I got excellent result. See scenario 1.993, scenario 2.991, Scenario 3, 992. Next one, scenario 4, also 992. Uh, scenario 5, 993. Scenario 6, 993. 2, scenario 7, 992. And scenario 8, 991. So I hope I can publish this paper from a very good journal.